Yeah. All right, y'all. Welcome back to the show. We got another special guest right here. You want to introduce yourself to the people? Hell, motherfucking yeah. It's Tati, baby. Don't forget the motherfucking baby, okay? And the big one, not the little one. He ain't my type C. I'm on a different plane, in and out my own lane. Swerving like G Herbal, ass fat, round circle. This ain't the color purple. What is you, Steve Herbal? My baddie's fine and they go throw that ass round with purpose. So get them blue strips. We don't know no chimney shit. Nah, nah, we don't know no broke shit. So how did you get into making music in the first place and what um, led up to that? You know what? I got into making music. I, first of all, I've been an artist. Um, I'm an actress. I've been acting since I was a child. And I, I loved music i wanted to write i wanted to do all these things but i was scared i was being scary as hell so i would write little things but i wouldn't share it to nobody so right now right now me writing and presenting my shit i really just started this summer in june uh, for real? you just started brand this summer. new artist brand new for real so, for real. so what yeah. is it so just starting this summer yeah. what, what do you do to just start like you just started like getting the booth or now you know what i really did because um, for me to really get the, the, the courage and the confidence that I needed in this area, as much as the confidence that I have, and some people might not be able to un understand in other areas when it came to this, I really had to lock in. Like, I stopped going out. I stopped um, doing other things. Like, you know, whether if it was acting or whatever, I stopped. I just really locked in on myself. And even, like, the like you know, spending time with friends, spending time with, with me and whatever the fuck it was. It was just, like, I locked in on myself and spent time with Tati, Tatiana, to be specific. And during that time, you know, it just came to me like an epiphany. And I was like, this is what the fuck I got to do. Hmm. So you got to lock in, lock in. Interesting. Lock everybody off. So when you got that Find epiphany, what was it that your epiphany said you got to do? My epiphany said that, girl, if you die tomorrow... And you didn't present none of this music that you've been thinking in your head. You going to be beating yourself up, up and down the motherfucking way. No matter what you accomplish, no matter what. Because I've done a lot. You know what I'm saying? Other fields. But this is something I've been wanting to do since I was a child. And I've been holding back. And once I realized that... And, and, you know, seeing friends die, young people, older people, you know, the relatives and, and realizing how short life is, it just really kind of hit me one day. And I said, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. They could talk their shit. They could say I'm too old. I got, you know what I'm saying? I got a little pudgy stomach. I got too many kids or whatever the fuck they want to say. Oh, you aren't you supposed to be a realtor? Aren't you supposed to be this, that, and the third? But it's like at the end of the day, I'm myself. And you can't put me in the box. And so once I start being like, fuck that, like... It just happened. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you so you recorded music already, right? You got right, music yeah, I started so, in, in June. Yeah. Okay. You, can so, you believe it? Yeah. I can mean, you believe shit. it? I can. Yeah. I can. Shit. I've heard. I've heard I'm many. I'm fucking with him. I'm fucking with him. No. But no. Yeah. No. No. For real. I literally yeah. just started in June. Okay. Like I made a song when I was like working with some other artists, probably when I was like 16. But I was just on the hook. I was just like, Ooh. yeah. You known that you had it in you, like the music, like. You know, yeah. you had being a, it was in me, but rhythmic, rhythmic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, what was it like your first time really being in the studio like that? Oh man, the first time my studio was like so exhilarating. It was like a roller coaster because I was so excited, but I was so nervous. And then I had the support. I don't know if I listen on my teeth, y'all, but anyway, I had the support of my friends. Like they was there, my family members. But then it was just still like I was just like. Ah. I don't know, but you know, I and mean, then I just said, fuck it, and I just went all out, and it just felt like I finally been free, and just being, and just accepting who I am, yeah. and not giving a fuck about what people thought, like, okay. I finally was like, I'm out this motherfucking box. Yeah, so, yeah. okay, so music's really in you then. Hell so yeah, it's in me, music. I'm a dancer too, yeah. okay. so, but you know, I think music is all in all of us, like, sound frequency when you hear certain rhythms like certain shit could put you to sleep certain shit could wake you up certain shit could make you want to work out it's like music is powerful sound is powerful our everything and i think people don't understand how powerful it is so um i've always been moved by music and i'm like so excited to just share these different sides of myself and these different ways how music inspires me and how i want to inspire people you know okay because honestly, a lot of people be just getting into the music game just to be rappers or just to be like whatever. But yeah. you actually like you actually feel it in you. The music Hell game, yeah, so. nah, nah. I'm not. You know, I'm an artist, and you know, I, I'm not tripping off of none of that. And what you know, like I said, like I've already gotten to this journey. But at the end of the day, of course, I want to make music for people, and they enjoy it, and they be like, "Hi, Fly, Tati, baby, you did great. I love that song. Like that's amazing." Um, you know. But at the, end of the, at the end of the day, or I want to make a lot of money or whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? But I, I've already, 
I've already taken the time for my artistry to do that when it came to my my business. You know, I'm a businesswoman. I do real estate as well at the end of the day. Shout out to all of my clients, past, present, and future. Um, you guys have all been sponsoring this journey. Shout out to that. Because I'm an independent artist. I do everything on my own right now. I got shout out to my few family members that have been helping me bring it together. But for real, for real. She gets, she gets yeah. spicy. Okay. So that's my <laughs> next point. That leads me to the next question then. Yeah. So has studying real estate had any impact on your career being um, trying to be an artist? You know, not about studying. I'll say practicing. So one thing I realized with real estate is the number game, right? And you have to have tough skin. Like, I could know that I'm a best realtor. If they work with me, they're going to get the best deal, all these things. And I, I try to present myself, and they still be like, mm, no. And, but I still, I can't let that, I can't take that to heart. I can't let it affect my work and my ethic and how I move and my energy and my, my you know, I got to still yeah. be chippy, happy, and move on to the next person. Same thing with music. Somebody might like my music, somebody might not. But if I know I'm a dope-ass artist, I know I'm a dope-ass person, whatever the fuck, I'm going to keep moving and keep being true to myself and not let not let the, the other people who don't see it or fuck with me affect what I'm doing and my creativity and how I'm flowing. So I realized that with, with real estate, like I could knock on 100 doors or make 100 calls and get one yes, and then I got 20 bands, you feel me? And so I could, I could knock on... A hundred doors put out a hundred singles and one person tell me they like it. They say, man, this got me through my day. That's, that's, I'm doing something what I wanted to do, making an impact on my music. Interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. So, yeah. so what's the, what's the idea behind your outfit tonight? Cause I ain't gonna lie. I've never oh. seen no one perform ski masked up like that for real. Just like going crazy. Yeah. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. You want to know the real story behind this, this outfit? Yeah. Because I got this outfit a couple weeks ago. The real story is today. I was pressed for time. So I love this jumpsuit, but it came with this, you know, the ski mask. And it was like the mood, like I'm just under, I'm chilling. But it also was like, I didn't need too much to really be here today. You feel me? And I felt like that. Like people fuck with me because my music, my energy gonna fuck with me. Like I maybe I didn't need to put on the full makeup, eyebrows, and do my hair all the way. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to come through and just be me. Just pay attention to me, my eyes, my music, listen to me. You feel me? And that's what I was on. I had a busy ass day. I moved this morning. I done broke a few nails and shit. My uh, my team told me not even to even mention that. But that's the real of the real for real for real. My nigga, because my shit be done. When I said, uh, your nigga busting bands on my nails, so I'm stacking it. He might write me into his wheel call it mackin bitch yeah because he's paying for my nail so i can stack my money you feel me but tonight i had the money i just didn't have the time okay <laughs> so i feel like this outfit was like don't worry about that worry about the music and the energy exactly the music but i'm it, goofy it's good. No, it's good so much so it's good yeah. that's why i yeah. i be getting hot but i was gonna say i be too I was gonna Medicinally. say Yeah, I'm not I've been doing a record. Weed, weed does wonders. Shout out to all my cancer yeah. patients. Shout smoke some weed. Yeah, smoke yeah, some shout out weed. to everybody. That's not just I'm just saying right. I don't like the negative connotation people would like to put on marijuana because I studied this shit and this does beauty, it does wonders. Speak on people it. Speak people on can, it. can abuse anything. You can abuse food. You digging in that refrigerator, grabbing that extra ice cream, knowing damn well you're trying to lose 10 pounds. That's not okay. So let me smoke my blood and call it a day, shit, so I can go to sleep tonight. Yeah, exactly. My thoughts exactly. I That's just didn't I mean. know how That's to it. say it in words. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? But yeah. So okay. So okay. I had a good, yeah. My good question that I was gonna ask. So, being fresh into like making music and trying to network around what's a difficulty that you found because you said you're five months in right you said you're five months in uh, i haven't even been counting but i've since yeah. been a, so, so I've June, so. a few difficulties oh my god um outside of the obvious as far as being an independent artist and funding yourself and motivating yourself you know um but i think that's a day-to-day -day thing with life like life is tough you know it's, it's sometimes it's just hard to get out your bed and just go to work or just smile and make your kids breakfast or you know take care of your mom your dad your grandpa whatever you got to do but you know with music i feel like it's just the same thing so this is the part of my life i've adapted it so at the end of the day you know uh, if i had to go to the studio i had to perform today but i broke some nails whatever it's like that's a part of it move on just keep it pushing because my goal is what's important it's in front of me and i see it and i can't it may not be the journey that i thought if i see myself but i trust in the universe i trust in god's vision and i just follow that and i go with that flow and try not to let shit stress me out you know i don't want no gray hairs and all of that shit you know i want to live a long time so um you know that's something just trying to just maintain and then um you know other challenges uh i mean shit like i just just life balancing you know take just being tatiana and you know and 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 trying to be a mother a daughter you know uh 
maybe somebody's girlfriend. I don't know. But, like, you know, like, all this shit. It's, it's a lot. But I feel like when you set your heart on something and you know this is what you want to achieve, none of that shit matters. Because you see the goal. Like, you got tunnel vision. So it's just like, I'm locked in. I see these little obstacles. But you know what? I see the goal right in front of me. So I'm just going <laughs> to right over that motherfucker and keep pushing. So okay. And that's all you can do. You know? And if you fall, it's okay. Learn your lessons. Failures are not even failures. They are lessons. And don't be afraid. Fear. Fear, to me, is false evidence appearing real. Real. Excuse me. False evidence appearing real. So what the fuck is really fear? I don't feel no one but God. And that's that. Damn. Shit, I learned something new today. Shit. How did how the name Tati Baby or Tati, Tati, Tati Baby? Baby, my bad. Tati Baby. How did um, the name Tati Baby come about? You know. So here's the thing, because I've always been like, so I'm, you know, to my close friends and family members, it's been like some people Tati or Tot. Um, and then I like, I had a thing with myself where I'd be like, I just call, I'd be like, baby. Like, I'm a, like, oh, baby, this, baby, that, or whatever. And I feel like, you know, it's like Tati, baby, like a love thing. And it's just like, yeah, like, that's me. Like, put that little sweetness on it when you say my name. Make sure you add the baby when you talk to me nicely. You feel me? And then it's like, um, you know, you just came together. Tati baby. You feel me? Don't forget the big Tati baby, not the little one. But um, at the end of the day, it was like, I, that's just me. I couldn't think of nothing that's so crazy just outside of my name because it's just not me. And I feel like Tati baby is me. Like, whether before I started rapping, like, motherfuckers might have been like, Tati baby. You feel me? You know? So I'm just being, I'm just being me. Take it or leave it. You feel me? All right. So what's this next for Tati Baby then? What you got coming? Let the people know where can we find your yes. music and all yes. that. Yes. Um, right now, you can find me on Instagram. It's Big Tati Baby. B-I-G-T-A-T-I-B-A-B-Y. I uh, just dropped the Pick It Up official music video. It's been doing numbers. I'm so thankful. Shout out to Shelly for shooting the video. Shout out to Tone Man for being a part of it. Bay Area Alert. Everybody been showing me love. Club Cam. All of the shit. Um, video. It's been a week, and I, I, I checked last time, and I believe I was at the damn near uh, 10K, and I can't believe it. Um, I got some other shit popping. We got Mac and coming. Shoot some other videos. I got some more songs. I'm about to put. The, I just dropped two songs. The type in the bay. I'm putting together my EP. Um, I got a performance coming up on the 27th. That's gonna be at Club Desi's. Um, you feel me? And it's just more. Just just follow my Instagram. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Tatiana. Uh, I think it's still my full name right now. It might be Big Tati Baby. But at the end of the day, nigga, I'm Tatiana Roberts, a.k.a. Tati Baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if you want us to put a house or something, put that Roberts on the end. Yeah. All right. There we go. Y'all Y'all heard it right here. Yourself <laughs> exclusive. That exclusive drop. This your first interview? This your first interview ever? This is my first hey, hey, interview. Hey, Tati Baby, first interview. Once she gets big, it's up. Exclusive. Yeah, it's you got up, it first. Yeah, the first interview. You did. And I hope y'all feeling, because I ain't gonna lie. Look, let me take the thing off now, because this has been a long day. But, you know, I'm ready to go home. Wait. And I said, popped out, no BBL, all natural, and all of that. I still got a little tummy, but you know what I'm saying? This is natural. <laughs> yeah, all of that. They wish it was like this, two kids. Mm -hmm. All of that. I ain't gonna tell you how old I am. I'm still young, and I am young, but baby. Yeah. There we go. Last closing words. You got last closing words for the people? For the people, be yourself. Don't put yourself in a box. Don't worry about what people are going to think. If you are a doctor and you want to make a mixtape about whatever the fuck you want to make it about, do it. You got one life to live. Look at Shaq. Shaq don't limit himself. Shaq is an all-star NBA player. Turn around, be a DJ. Turn around, do a commercial. Turn around, do commentary. Turn around and do all of the shit. If he lim why? He done made hella money. He could have been stopped, but he still keep going. He's my inspiration. Shout out to Shaquille O'Neal. I want to work with you one day. Mark my words. So, yeah. Fuck that box. Be you. Tati, baby. Um, thank, you. Right. thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I ain't gonna lie, you just gave me a good ass.